the first change by God. And uh, next up, yeah. this of the uh, churches, uh, the book of churches have uh, 21 chapter. And in the last chapter, it says that uh, in those days, uh, Israel had no king, everyone did as he saw fit. Nang panahong yon ay wala pang hari sa Israel, tinagawa ng bawat isa ang lahat ng kanilang pagustuhan. This uh, expression, not only in once, uh, but in the book of Judges, uh, this uh, is uh, repeated. Uh, then um, this verse uh, tells uh, uh, two uh, uh, things. Uh, the first uh, one, Israelites uh, didn't have a physical uh, king unlike other countries, uh, but uh, spiritually they did uh, have, because uh, God is uh, always a uh, king to them. Then, kahit meron king sa kanila. But uh, they didn't serve a uh, king. That's why it says uh, there's uh, no king. And they just uh, acted uh, in an unworthy uh, manner. This is uh, the main uh, reason why the writer said uh, this. Uh, another one, it also implies uh, Israelites uh, future uh, king yeah and uh, yeah. so from Moses uh, from Joshua always uh, God uh, renew repeat uh, this uh, keeping the words of God is a uh, life if you keep you will be blessed you will have a long life but uh, if uh, you do not keep my commands, uh, like other countries, uh, canonize, uh, they were killed, uh, they were driven away, and you will perish, you will be destroyed uh, always. Uh. So it tells us uh, the words of God is a uh, life uh, to you. Not king, not military power, not money, but words of God. Uh, only but, uh, when we uh, see uh, the book of uh, uh, Judges, uh, after Joshua died, uh, Israelites uh, were mixed uh, with uh, you know sinful culture other countries uh, had uh, there, and um, in these uh, days, uh, you know, priest, uh, priest. Uh, was a parang fortune teller. Yeah. Then uh, from Levites, uh, tribe of Levites, uh, priests uh, should be appointed. Uh, but uh, any tribe, uh, they uh, chose uh, and a uh, priest uh, did not know to uh, you know, worship uh, God uh, properly. Uh, they are like uh, fortune tellers. Uh. Then when uh, one guy from Bethlehem, he uh, entered the uh, you know, area of uh, Benjamin. People in town, you know, knocking, pounding the door, and they say, you owner, let him come out, come out. Then we will have sex with the man, man to man. Then uh, it means uh, morally, you know, it's a corrupt. Uh, yeah. And uh, what country? Is it, you know, pagan country, Moab, Ammon, or Philistine? No. It happened in Israel. Israel. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, then uh, even uh, Israelites, uh, Benjamin, Benjamites, uh, versus uh, other tribes, uh, they uh, fought, uh, they had a war. In same people, not with the uh, enemy, but the same uh, uh, people. Then, almost uh, all, you know, Benzemites uh, were killed. So Israelites, uh, they had uh, 12 uh, tribes, uh, right? But uh, even one tribe uh, almost uh, disappeared. 
So it's uh, what uh, happened uh, to the book of uh, Judges. Uh. So now, you know, we uh, go to the book of uh, uh, Ruth. Uh. Ruth, uh, when we think, uh, uh, you know, the timeline is uh, almost the uh, ending of Judges. Uh. Then people's faith uh, and morality uh, you know, decreased and decreased uh, yeah, in the book of uh, uh, Ruth uh, too, in my uh, opinion. Then uh, when we uh, see uh, uh, chapter um, one in the uh, you know book of uh, Ruth, uh, there's a uh, one uh, family in Bethlehem. By the way, Bethlehem is uh, familiar to you, right? Why? <laughs> it is a uh, birthplace of Jesus. Yeah, Bethlehem is a uh, House, Baha'i, left hand means bread, house of bread. Why uh, it is uh, this uh, uh, name? I think uh, it's uh, because uh, the land of uh, Bethlehem is uh, very good for farming. Yeah. Barley and uh, wheat, uh, it grows very well. Yeah. Now, when you also go to somewhere in uh, Bulacan, or Laguna, you see a good land, full time, right? Uh, like that, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I think it is named uh, after that uh, because it's a uh, full time, very good soil, yeah. But uh, there's a problem. In Bethlehem, there's a famine. Wallah, rain. Rain, ulan, wallah, ulan, yeah. Walang ulang means my uh, to plant. Then, walang harvest. Uh, no problem. They became hungry. Yeah. You know, unlike nowadays, uh, they didn't have uh, noodles uh, or snack. Then, harvesting is uh, crucial. Body, you know, and uh, uh, wheat. Uh. Then, uh, here, one uh, man uh, is a uh, uh, name uh, is uh, Eli Melek. Yeah. Eli Melek. He uh, also uh, married uh, and uh, the wife name is uh, Naomi. Naomi. Then uh, Eli Melek uh, thought, uh, should I do? Mm. I think. Uh, Better to go to another country. He didn't pray. But uh, oh, much better to go to another country. Yeah. Then uh, you know he packed uh, and he sold uh, his uh, property to other. Then he crossed the Jordan River. He arrived uh, in Moab. Moab uh, people served the uh, idol. Camosh, yeah. Then, uh, you know, uh, by the way, uh, thinking of this, uh, we have to be uh, careful when you uh, make a uh, decision, yeah. So, when you make an important decision, we have to pray uh, more. But uh, some uh, people, when they have uh, a problem, stuff, they only, uh, you know, talk with your friends, uh, and then you depend on your own wisdom. Mm. Then you make a sudden decision. Then you experience uh, some uh, you know, failure. For example, and my uh, go. Then uh, also I don't want to work. Then uh, uh, just uh, how to get married? And I have a marriage. All problem will be gone. Then you just uh, met one guy, or then uh, you marry. Is it true that uh, marriage will settle all your problems? Or say no, and uh, more problem, uh, more difficult uh, to raise your children. 
But uh, many uh, young women, they think, uh, oh, if I uh, marry a handsome guy, uh, you know, who have a job, all my problem will be gone. And I will live uh, in happiness, uh, full of happiness every day. They say this. My wife is, uh, you know, uh, may I agree? Yeah. <laughs> Then uh, another one. Oh, I have uh, financial difficulties, uh, and uh, I need uh, money. Then Big Lam, your friend, who uh, live, uh, you know, in another part, uh, like Baguio, Kai Bigan. Now I have job opportunity, work in my company. Is a uh, salary is a. Uh, 20,000 pesos, 20,000 pesos uh, every month. Then you were a Sunday school teacher, same team member, but you didn't care. So, whoa, Shige, next week I will go there. <laughs> you didn't consider, you know, uh, the Lord's work uh, and uh, God's will stuff, so, and you make a uh, uh, decision. Based on your own wisdom and uh, you know your situation, you may uh, have a you know problem and a bigger problem. So yeah. now we know that uh, Abraham and then uh, Abraham's place uh, in Prime's land, uh, there's a famine. Then he went to Egypt, right? Egypt, uh, there's a Nile River. It's a uh, big. Then. I think uh, Egyptians uh, have a better condition always because of uh, Nile. So Abraham just decided uh, to go down to Egypt. Uh, when the, what happens? Uh, the Pharaoh, king of Egypt, uh, he was uh, fascinated uh, by Abraham's wife, Sarah. Sarah was so beautiful. So Abraham Mahada. And, you know, the Egyptian king, Pharaoh, would take her. Uh, her as uh, his wife, uh, but the God stopped. And Abraham almost uh, lost uh, his uh, wife without God's protection, yeah. but uh, God protected him. Yeah. Then, uh, so now, you know, uh, Elimelech's uh, family went to uh, Moab uh, and stayed uh, 10 years, uh, some home uh, down. Elimelech uh, had uh, uh, two sons, right? Marlon and Gillion. Then, you know what happened? Three of them all died. All died. The Bible did not tell. Maybe, uh, probably, uh, you know, this is uh, like a Corona Yeah. All died. Yeah. Then, um, by the way, um, um, Marlon. Uh, why, uh, you know, Marlon's parents uh, make uh, that name? Marlon means uh, sick, sickness. Yeah. And uh, Gillion, Gillion means uh, pining. It means, uh, you know, pining or destruction. Baya <laughs> then The two died uh, and uh, their father also died. Yeah. And then the two sons uh, married a Moabite uh, woman. So can you imagine now uh, that uh, in uh, one family, big lamb, husband died. All children died. And women are left. How difficult uh, this uh, situation uh, is uh, there. Then um, Naomi, you know, when he, uh, when she moved uh, to Moab, uh, she had uh, money, and she had a uh, hope and dream. But uh, when she arrived uh, in uh, Moab, uh, her money was gone, and so her, um, you know, husband and two children died, uh, and uh, her dream was gone. Then she uh, felt, "Alana uh, go," but. Uh, I think uh, Naomi, you know, uh, 
depended on God. Even the Bible did not uh, describe uh, enough. Uh, and Naomi uh, was uh, Israel. Yeah. Then uh, next up, uh, yeah. What about the uh, in your life? Uh, do you have a time you really uh, and are in difficulty? Did you experience that? Uh, no? Your life is always good? I think uh, Vincent's life is always good, always smile, uh, yeah. Then, uh, uh, before, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Then, uh, there's a, this is a proverb, proverb, right? Do not talk uh, with a person about life. Uh, who did not experience uh, troubles. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, when we are in very uh, deep sorrow or, uh, you know, problems, uh, we just uh, think of our life uh, deeply. Ah, maybe uh, your life is too easy. You did not experience that. You also experience, right? Yeah. Then um, I also, uh, you know, had, um, I, I told you, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, I have a, a dream. My dream before, before I became a pastor was uh, to be rich, to be rich, yeah. I would have a big uh, money because uh, my family is too poor. So to have uh, more money, it's my uh, dream, and I worked hard and hard. I didn't sleep uh, before midnight. I worked hard. Then um, it's a uh, time for promotion. Everything was uh, okay, but uh, I have a health uh, concern. Then the company, uh, you know, said we can't promote you. Because of your health concern now. And I was uh, so uh, disappointed. And I resigned. And, and uh, you, know, you may also have uh, some uh, experiences. Uh, and then, um, now, you know, let's uh, think of uh, uh, Naomi uh, too. Naomi uh, was uh, you know, in deep uh, sorrow. Then, she finally decided uh, to return to Bethlehem. Yeah. Then uh, first, uh, he uh, she also said to uh, her uh, two um, you know daughters-in-law, uh, Orpa and uh, Ruth, uh, let's go to Bethlehem together. Then they set out on the road. But uh, Naomi was thinking, oh, they are still young. Then Naomi says. Oh, daughters, uh, you were kind to my family, but uh, this time it's much better you do not follow me. So you are young, you stay here, and you go to your family and remarry another man. And they wept, uh, oh, mother, mother. They all wept on the road. Then uh, one uh, you know, daughter-in-law, Orpa, turned up. Uh, and went to her people. But uh, Ruth, the guy walked by the shop. She said, No, mom, I will follow you. Don't say uh, that. Uh, your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Until I, what can separate me is a death. Come on, die. You know, Naomi can't say her further. Okay, okay, let's go together, you know, with me. Then, uh, why do you think uh, Ruth uh, followed uh, Naomi? Then, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, expectation could uh, Ruth uh, have? Naomi was uh, old and very poor. Maybe, uh, uh, one of the reason is uh, Ruth uh, has a um, uh, strong uh, love toward uh, Naomi. Then Naomi uh, Sobrang Matanga, Walang Children, and the Ruth Tinka, Kai Baba Ako, 
without me, my mother-in-law have a more problems. Uh, better for me to be with her. Because Ruth uh, has a strong love for her mother-in-law. And uh, second, I think uh, you know Ruth uh, learned uh, a lot from Naomi about God, the God of Israelites, uh, who you know separated the Red Sea, uh, who created the earth and heavens. Uh, then Ruth, uh, you know, might uh, believe uh, not the camel of Moabite idol yan, but God of Israel is a true God. And she has that faith uh, and she uh, uh, followed them. Yeah. So now, you know, the two uh, women, Naomi and uh, Ruth, uh, they had uh, nothing, no money, but uh, they tried uh, to return to uh, Egypt. Uh, this is uh, very um, important, yeah. So now, you know, uh, let us uh, look at uh, our <laughs> selves. Uh, some people, you may think, oh, what do I have? I do not have a health. Um, I do not have a money. I do not have a family who support me in uh, finance. But uh, I will go to church. I will worship. Now, I feel uh, disappointed, uh, but uh, I will join prayer meeting. And I will read the Bible. I will have a fellowship with uh, other Christians. So likewise, uh, even in sorrow, in problem, in distress, uh, you just uh, you know, uh, have a firm decision. I will continue. I will continue. And then the blessings of God will be opening to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Then uh, I also uh, remember uh, my uh, mother and uh, my mother uh, when she was uh, 40 years old my father uh, died and uh, she has only four sons uh, and she did uh, every uh, work she could do in her you know, factory, as a helper, in a restaurant, and she did everything. And, but, uh, you know, for a loan to support the four, you know, uh, sons, uh, we always are uh, poor, very difficult, uh, yeah. but uh, she did not give up. And uh, she decided uh, to hold uh, the words of God. She always uh, joined a prayer meeting and uh, every uh, morning now, now she's uh, more than 70 years old, uh, you know, might have to read the Bible, but uh, she bought a uh, Bible with big letters, uh, always uh, read. Then uh, she just uh, studied a little, she couldn't finish high school, and she think, uh, what, what, I will do what I can do. And uh, she always uh, worked uh, in, you know, church uh, dining room to make a lunch for all church uh, members. Sometimes she collapsed uh, while working in there. She was at the hospital. Then, uh, you know, she just uh, hold fast uh, to the words of God. She wanted to serve God. And, uh, you know, uh, God's blessings uh, uh, has fallen on uh, her. Then uh, I also uh, remember one of our uh, pastors uh, from Hallelujah Church. Uh, some people uh, came, right? And uh, we together went to Riverside. Uh. Then I uh, talked to uh, one of the uh, uh, deacon while we uh, pass, uh, uh, you know, around uh, see Jelin's uh, house. Uh. And uh, there's uh, you know many disciples, right? plastic bottles uh, around uh, there. Then, he explained uh, very well the process of uh, recycling. Then, I uh, was uh, wondering uh, how he learned uh, about it. Uh, and and uh, the story is uh, uh, this. Uh, he uh, was uh, rich uh, before, and um, he uh, started the uh, business of a gas station. And the people, who have started the gas station, they are rich, right? 
Because more money means you can't even start. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, for some uh, reason, he had to close it. And he said, in big debt. Big debt. And he, um, you know, um, went to church for some uh, reason. Yeah. Then uh, he uh, talked uh, with uh, the pastor who came here. And the pastor uh, had uh, some, uh, you know, counseling discussion with him. Then he said, oh, Pastor, I have uh, no way to so beat that. Uh, what should I uh, uh, do? Then the um, pastor said, just uh, you go to jail. Then do it because you go to jail. <laughs> then he was uh, shocked. Uh, the pastor's, uh, uh, you know, advice. Uh, then, of course, the pastor continued about the gospel. Then, he just wake up himself and he accepted the Jesus. Yeah. Then, uh, you know, he started another business that is uh, recycling. Butters, uh, <laughs> then, you know, and then Oh, now his business is uh, um, okay, very much okay. Yeah. So, you know, uh, even in time of distress, uh, and, uh, he was in depression, uh, he would die. But uh, he came to church, he came to God, and he decided uh, to return to Jesus. Uh, amazing thing happens. Then uh, now, you know, when I see uh, our uh, church members, uh, wow, your life is really uh, difficult. Yeah. And I see uh, some of our members' uh, situations. Uh, if uh, I were in your situation, I think uh, too difficult to come to church, to join the uh, you know, ministry itself. But uh, even hard to smile. But some of our church members, uh, you continue to join the uh, ministry. And also you smile. You try to give thanks. Uh, you try to give an uh, offering. So amazing. It's because uh, the Holy Spirit is uh, with you. Now, you know, if uh, your situation is uh, too difficult, uh, do not give it up. Uh, just uh, as a uh, Naomi returned to Bethlehem, just uh, try to come to the Lord. Even, you know, tears are flowing on your cheek. Uh, just uh, join worship, join prayer, join, uh, you know, Bible program, then God will work out for you. Hallelujah. Yeah. So now you know it says uh, the great reversal. Psalm one two six uh, five six. Uh. Let's read all together. Those who saw in tears will reap with the songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying sheep to sow, will return with the songs of joy, carrying sheep so with him. Agalop. Silam matangis habang nagsisipak alin. Kaya ako na matangis na puso-puso na karayakan. Silam mga nagsihayong ay hihit ay nangis. Ang aari na may kalak alay ani kapal. Yeah. So, Ruth, uh, because of sorrow, you know, no hope in the world. Uh, tears are flowing on her face. Uh, but the following, God and a uh, mother in uh, law. So no, now, you know, even uh, at night, uh, you are weeping because of sorrow, but then uh, continue to follow God. Then, you know, God will show himself. Yeah. And here, uh, it means, um, you know, when they were in Babylon, they are parang prisoners, uh, but uh, they waited. Uh, then all of a sudden, it is proclaimed, uh, now you have a freedom. Return to your country and build the temple. <gasps> there are people over joy. Yeah. So, may not talaga to plant the seed uh, when it is uh, hot. Uh, so, uh, you know, really difficult. Uh, they are weeping. But uh, later, God uh, allowed them to have an abundant uh, harvest. Uh, with the uh, chance of uh, joy. Yeah. Then, um, 
I also uh, see uh, the great diversal. I like uh, this uh, word, great diversal. Also, Jesus uh, say uh, something similar. The first uh, will become the last. Uh. The last uh, will become the first. Uh. Yeah. Then, um, if uh, we have a running uh, race, uh, work together now in Talayan uh, village. <laughs> then, uh, who will be the first? Uh? I think uh, maybe Mark James. Because Mark James is the uh, longest uh, leg. <laughs> Giant. But, uh, maybe uh, my daughter Zion will be the last. So we always think of Mark James will be the first. But uh, one lap, two laps, uh, oh, Zion will be the first plan. It's a great reversal. <laughs> great uh, reversal. Uh, yeah. So um, Christians, uh, we may uh, encounter great reversal. And, um, I see uh, some uh, one family in need, uh, then uh, I gave uh, my uh, you know, bicycle. Then uh, I thought, uh, oh, you just uh, walk to your workplace. And that's my help. And also when you spend uh, money for transportation, uh, you have to uh, spend uh, more, and you need to buy uh, food. Uh, then I just uh, gave up my bicycle, you know, for free. It is uh, in good condition. But uh, yesterday he came with a motorcycle. <gasps> I was so surprised. Uh, very good uh, motorcycle. <laughs> it's uh, like a reverse. Reverse. Yeah. So uh, you know. Uh, we know what kind of uh, reversal Naomi uh, had, uh, right? And uh, Naomi went to her hometown and, you know, her um, daughter-in-law, Ruth, uh, remarried uh, to Bo Boaz. Uh. Boaz uh, is a very close uh, relative. Uh. And Boaz is uh, rich. And, um, you know, then, Boaz uh, married uh, Ruth uh, and uh, they had a son, right? His name is uh, Obed. Obed has a son. Jesse. Jesse has a son. David. David. The most wonderful king in Israel. This happened. So Obed uh, is a grandfather of uh, David. Ruth uh, is a great grandmother of uh, David. It happened. Uh, yeah. Not only uh, David, uh, from David's seed, uh, Jesus uh, was born, right? So Ruth, the guy who by this shop. She is uh, included uh, in genealogy of Jesus and David. Uh, Naomi, very poor. But, uh, you know, Ruth married uh, Boaz, a uh, rich guy. And uh, in her whole life, uh, I think uh, he, she didn't worry about finance. It's a center there. So, you know, we know that uh, uh, Boaz uh, is uh, called uh, um, guardian redeemer. Kinsman Redeemer. Yeah. That means uh, if uh, one uh, person in family became poor and sold uh, his uh, property, another one who is rich bought uh, for the poor brother. That is a uh, Kinsman uh, Redeemer. Yeah. So now, you know, let's uh, think uh, we are you know, sold uh, to uh, sin. Yeah. But our true Kinsman Redeemer. We also have a Boaz, uh, his name is uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, uh, he would uh, redeem us. Uh, next ball. Yeah.
The Redeemer restores us. Let's read the all together, 832. Romans said, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Kung ang sarili niyang anak ay hindi niya ipinakay sa hali ay ibigay para sa ating lahat, hindi kaya niya ibigay na masagana sa atin ang lahat ng bagay. Okay. So Jesus, uh, you know, gave up everything he could do, his life, uh, to, uh, you know, save us, uh, to redeem us uh, from our sins. Uh, and what else? Uh, what other blessings? Uh, of course, uh, lahat po. He would uh, restore us. Uh, then uh, just, uh, let's continue to walk uh, in the ways of God. The um, meaning of uh, Naomi is a uh, pleasant uh, and uh, in Tagalog, masaya. Masaya. But uh, his uh, husband died, children died, and uh, when uh, he returned to Bethlehem, and, uh, people just go, uh, Naomi! Who's that? Then she said, Mamutamat Naomi, pero Mara. Mara means uh, bitter. Mapait. Uh, so, Masaya, from Masaya into Mapait. But when Naomi returned to God, then she, you know, turned uh, again to Naomi. Masaya, sobrang Masaya in Jesus. Christ. So uh, I uh, wish and pray that uh, even uh, now some people have uh, in really a deep problem and hopelessness, uh, sickness, sickness is, uh, but uh, let's uh, continue to worship God, following Jesus, uh, practicing His words, uh, and uh, God will open a new morning to us. Uh, Let's continue to walk by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray uh, together. Heavenly uh, Father, Naomi has become a uh, character, Ruth, too, of God's uh, blessings. Uh, Naomi uh, experienced the uh, great sorrow and uh, her husband and children died. Uh, but uh, together with the uh, Ruth, uh, she uh, sought uh, you. Lord, uh, please uh, see uh, all people uh, here who have uh, loneliness, uh, sorrows in their heart. Uh. Please, uh, Lord, move their hearts uh, that uh, we may uh, find the uh, light of Jesus. Uh. Boaz, uh, Lord, uh, she, he is uh, very willing to redeem. And we also believe uh, Jesus uh, is uh, very uh, willing to restore us uh, for everything. Oh Jesus, uh, thank you for your uh, love for us. Uh, and uh, thank you that uh, you have uh, become our Redeemer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.